I don't even want to review it. This movie sucks. Was it trying to be scary? What were they trying to do? God. This movie makes me mad. It just... it. What's up, guys? <laughs> it is Rob. And uh, you know what time it is? It's movie review time. That's right. Continuing on with my paranormal activity movie reviews, we're going to talk about the fourth movie. Paranormal Activity 4 includes the unrated and theatrical. You see what it says right there? Absolutely terrifying. Who wrote that? Billy Donnelly from Ain't It Cool News. You're an idiot. I would like to know what part in this movie one scene that is absolutely terrifying one scene that is terrifying i can't think of one this movie is atrocious it really is i i, I just came out in 2012 uh you, you notice a pattern here 2010 let's see let's see 2010, we get uh, Paranormal Activity 2, 2011, 3, 2012, 4. So let's just come out with a paranormal film every year like they used to do with Saw. Why, why not? Let's just do it. Because we know it's going to make money. That's not the case for this one. So again, it's a found footage supernatural horror film uh, directed by Henry Joost again. Same directors from the uh, third movie. And this is an actual sequel. At first, I was intrigued because I'm like, finally, we get to see what happens at the end of Paranormal Activity 2. We got to see what happens at the first, you know, at the end of the first one. You know, Katie kills Mika. She grabs hunter the baby walks off again unknown what happens well this takes place five years after the events of paranormal activity 2 so when katie takes hunter and walks off five years later so you're telling me katie has been possessed for five years That's a long time, being possessed for five years, having the demon inside of you. This had a $5 million budget, same budget as the third movie, and it only made $142 million. I mean, that's still a lot more, you know, they made their money back and then some, but it's, you know, not as much as the third movie. And I believe the, so see, it's not as much as, I don't think it even made as much as the, the, the second movie made 177. So it's, it's, it is the lowest box office, um, gross. I think people at this point were just, you know, fucking sick of it. Like, honestly, I just think they were just done. This has the recovered files, nearly 30 minutes of footage not shown in theaters. Ooh, that's fantastic. I call this the neck break. This, this should be called Katie Breaks Necks. You know, in the subtitles. That's what it should be called. You got Catherine Newton in this, Matt Shively. You got Katie Featherston. She's back. She's possessed still. Stephen Dunham, uh, who actually died, the father in this movie, he actually died after filming this. He suffered a heart attack on his 48th birthday. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Um, I know he was in other movies, but yeah, it's just weird, like seeing him in this movie and then he, yeah, he passed away. Um, 
Where do I even? I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with this. This this movie. So Katie Featherston returns in this with this mysterious kid. She's in this nice neighborhood, and it focuses on this family, right? This family, you got this girl, her brother, her little brother, um, and then the mom and dad who don't get along. They fight and stuff, but they live in this nice house, and it's this nice family. This girl has a boyfriend named Ben, which I thought he was the best part of the movie. This movie was more funny than it was scary. Absolutely terrifying my ass. I mean, absolutely hilarious, because there was some hilarious stuff. Even when Katie's breaking necks, that's funny. But anyway, so this family and then her boyfriend are always in the house just talking about random shit. They're, it, it's not, it's, the conversations are just dumb. You're not even into it. So the boy that lives there, his name's Wyatt. That's not his real name. Um, they're playing soccer, uh, you know, they're outside and, you know, he's on the soccer team, whatever they're, they're recording the soccer game. And all of a sudden there's this weird, weird kid about Wyatt's age, just standing there, just staring like he's Michael Myers. I mean, he's just standing there on the sidelines, just like this. And she, she's pointing the camera at him and she turns like this. And then when she does this, he's gone. Oh, now he's Jason. Oh, so he's Michael Myers standing there. And then when he teleported. This kid is not even a goat. What? What? Where'd he go? I, I'm sorry, but little things like that. I hate that shit. If you don't have a good, if you don't have a good explanation on what happened, what are you doing? Oh, teleport. He's not over here. Over here. he, he's gone. I guess the demon helped him. Fuck out of here. So this family lives in this nice house. You know, they go home from the soccer game and they notice that there are people moving in across the street. And of course, it's Katie. It's Katie and that weird boy we just saw that had teleporting abilities. His name's Robbie and he's this weird kid. He just stares like this. He's just like, I couldn't sleep. Okay, so they move in across across the street. This kid, Robbie, comes over to this house and wants to meet the family, this weirdo kid. He meets Wyatt. They play together because they're about the same age and they're having fun together. They notice that this kid, Robbie, is just, he's not all there. He's, he's, he keeps saying that he has this friend that's with him that no one can see. He's basically talking about the demon. That's what he's talking about. That this demon is there. Now, how can the demon be there if the demon is possessing Katie? The, 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 so the demon can be two places at once, or does he just jump through her vagina when he think when he feels like it? Like how does? So the does the demon? I don't understand. Is there doppelgangers? Is there more than one demon? I just don't get it. I thought there was one demon, but when Robbie's over at the house. And Katie's over at her house. How is the demon here and not there? Or is he both? I don't know. I, I don't. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this Robbie kid tries to get Wyatt to do stuff that, you know, like bad stuff even. not Like not listening. He's basically Macaulay Culkin from The Good Son. Because he just, he, he, you know, he's not setting good examples here. If I let you go, you think you can fly? Why don't you try that? So Robbie takes Wyatt over to his house across the street, and that's where you run into Katie. She seems normal. She looks at Wyatt. She's like, oh, he looks just like his mom. What the hell are you even talking about? What? What is going on here? How does Katie know his mom? What was he talking about? Well, come to find out, Wyatt is not really Wyatt. That's Hunter. That is Hunter, who's not a baby anymore because it's five years later.
what happened was somewhere between Paranormal Activity 2 and 4, Hunter was in a foster home. And that's what this family is with her. It's the foster family that he's with. His real name is Hunter, but his foster name is Wyatt. So I would like to know what happened between Paranormal Activity 2 and 4. What the hell happened? Because the last time we saw is that Katie had Hunter. So how did Hunter get away from her? Or why did she give him up? Or what, what happened? She's still possessed. She's still... Maybe the demon could just jump out of her and then she's normal. As long as she has that symbol or whatever, like in, in the coven or whatever that is, maybe she's just attached, the demon's just attached to her no matter what. But that's not even the case because Katie walks around everywhere. God, this movie's such a fucking cl clusterfuck. It is. It's. My head hurts. Anyway. Do you get where I'm going with this? You probably don't, because it's all over the place. I know it is, because that's what this movie is. It's all over the place. So something's not right with Katie. The ambulance shows up at Katie's house for no damn reason, and they don't know. They're like, oh, Kate, uh, that Katie lady, I guess, went to the hospital. Something happened. We don't even know what happened. That's the only explanation we get. There's an ambulance there. Why is the ambulance there? We don't know. We'll never know. I want to know what happened between two and four. I want to know what happened with Katie and, and Hunter. They don't explain it. It, ju it just is. So Robbie's acting like a weirdo again. Things start happening in the house. Even when Robbie's there. And, and you know, Robbie's staying over now at their house because something happened to Katie. She went in the ambulance. Maybe the demon, you know, screwed her so hard that she couldn't walk. Maybe she broke something. Maybe the demon was was doing her. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what's going on. Maybe she had a seizure. But then again, the demon was with Robbie. And if Katie's in the hospital, does that mean the demon left her? And that's why she went to the hospital? Because she was... I don't know! I don't even know why I'm trying to think about this. This movie sucks. I don't even know why I'm trying to make ends meet. Alright, so... God. So now that Robbie is staying there at the house... Things start happening. They set up cameras. They set up this laptop camera, like all over, in a lot of rooms. The main girl right here, she has a laptop recording in her room. Robbie comes into her room and he gets in bed with her. Okay. He gets in bed with her and he hugs her in bed, like, and she's in her underwear and stuff. Okay. Um, she starts... Noticing there's weird stuff happening. <clears throat> Her boyfriend Ben gets in on it. Trying to catch something on the laptops and stuff. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Katie shows up. So you're telling, what did she do? Escape the hospital? What happened? She walks into the house. She walks into their house. The mom is there. You know, people are there, and she's just walking in the house. She she got in the house somehow. Maybe they don't lock their doors. I don't know. She walks into the house, and she's standing still, and she's, like, walking really slow like she did in the first movie when she was possessed. So, that means she's possessed. She's still possessed with the demon because she's walking like she's a freaking zombie. And so, she walks upstairs where Wyatt's sleeping. She's like, Wyatt, she's like, I'm here. She's like, your real name's Hunter. She's like, your real name's Hunter. I'll be waiting for you, Hunter. Why did you lose him in the first place? What happened? I would like to know what happened. Because he sure as hell doesn't remember that his name's Hunter. He sure as hell doesn't remember Katie. Of course, he was very, very young. But what happened? People start dying one by one. 
Mom dies by the demon. They do some st The kills are really stupid in this. They are very stupid. The Ben, the boyfriend, dies by a neck break. Cause cause Katie likes Ben goes in. Ben goes into her room. Sits there, adjusts the computer, and Katie's all of a sudden standing behind him. Teleport. She teleported. She's standing behind him, all of a sudden he's just like, what? And she's like, <laughs> she drags him off into the closet. <laughs> she breaks necks! That's what she does! <laughs> You know, on some paranormal activity films, you have the uh, jump scares like blah, you know, like blah, that kind of stuff. In this movie, you have, you know, that's what you have in this film. Great. So everyone starts dying, and the dad goes over to Katie's house, um, and gets. Attacked by the demon, gets dragged down the hall, which we we haven't seen that before. And the girl goes over there to, uh, you know, to save Hunter or Wyatt, so she calls him, and save her dad. And that's where the only, I guess, the creepiness starts because the whole other parts of the movie, they're not even creepy at all. You see a ball bouncing down the steps. Oh my God, that's scary. She's running through the house trying to find Wyatt. All of a sudden, Katie appears around the corner. And she starts running at the camera. And again, here comes the CGI demon face, which they did in the very first movie. It's like they didn't learn. It's like they didn't learn from that. She's running at the camera like this. She's like, <laughs> Come on, man. What the hell happened here? The girl goes outside and she finds Wyatt or Hunter just standing there like this. And then she looks and there's all these people. It's like the whole neighborhood is in on this 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 covenant thing. The, all the, all these neighbors are basically worshiping this demon. She turns around and then Katie's there, or I should say the demon possessing Katie. She's like, ah, like this, and that's that's it. How do you go from this movie, which is far superior, to this movie? Same directors. I don't know how you do it. I was hoping for a good sequel story. I was hoping to see what would happen with Katie, her whereabouts. Hunter, but no, we get this huge gap, and they're just there, and they're doing things, and they're leaving, and they're teleporting, and they're screwing each other. That's how I'm assuming that Katie was in the hospital, because the demon did her so hard. I don't know, but you know what? I'm kind of getting sick of it. This is why this, this is why the series fails. It, it, it Stuff like this. It's a comedy. It is not terrifying. There's not one scary scene in this film. Not one. Okay? I don't even think they knew what they were... I don't even think they knew what it was. Or what they wanted it to be. 90% of this movie is laughs and comedy and jokes. Even if the jokes don't work or if they don't land, it's still represented as a joke. Because of the boyfriend. The boyfriend provides all the humor. And this girl, talk about a wooden, stiff girl. What is, what is her name? Catherine Newton won the 2013 Young Artist Award for Best Performance in a Feature Film, Leading Young Actress. Her performance in this was garbage. It was garbage. She didn't do, she was just like a zombie the whole time. Just like... Hey, are you looking at me? You can't do that. You can't look at me through the laptop. You can't do that. Oh my God, Ben. Oh my God. It's 
So this movie, you got possessed Katie and then non-possessed Katie. You got a weird boy walking around with his eyes like this and teleporting. You have a kid with two names that just disappeared for no reason and then showed up in a foster family. You got neck breaking. You got humor. You got people saying it's terrifying and it's not. I'm done. This movie sucks. It could be the worst one of the series. But we'll find out soon enough, won't we? What do you guys think of Paranormal Activity 4? I had to talk about certain points of this movie because it pissed me off. This movie pissed me off, and that's it. Next is Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, which I'll get into. And then there's one more after that, thank God. And then, like I said, after I'm done reviewing, I'm going to rank them. And that should be interesting, too. But let me know what you think in the comments of Paranormal Activity 4. Did you like it? Did you hate it? It probably doesn't bother you as much as it bothered me. Because maybe you don't find the series interesting. And that's the thing. I, I will always say this. It's the first one I found interesting. But they should have left it alone. But no, we get this shit. This is what we get. A, a sequel. This is a sequel. Wow. Okay. Anyway, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this rant. Um, I'll be back with more of these. Because there's plenty of movies that piss me off. But I'm just honest, man. That's it. I'm just going to tell you like it is. I don't care. I'll give Steven Dunham credit i mean i liked him in this movie but i didn't like the movie no rest in peace uh can't believe he died after filming this i'm not even sure if that was his last movie or not but anyway um yeah so i'll be back with more reviews continuing on with the series itself and uh subscribe for more content and uh i'll see you guys in the next one